Amy Dallin, as you know, and with Marvel's Doctor Strange coming to theaters on Friday, November 4th, Skype invited me to speak with the film's cast and crew. Check out what they think of the film. How do I get from here to there? How did you become a doctor? Study and practice. Here's the bit. So tell us a little bit about being Doctor Strange. You know, he's a very complex character, as he is in the comics as well, but he's vulnerable, you know. If you punch him or cut him, he will hurt. It's, it's, it's a human being. How does your character, Christine Palmer, fit into the mystical universe? She's kind of a, a woman of science. She's a doctor, emergency room doctor. And then, uh, slowly, this mystical world creeps into her world, and she's thrown into something she doesn't quite... Uh, understand. So were you a comic book junkie? I, I hadn't read comic books growing up. I, I'm since more of a fan. I love Black Orchid. Neil Gaiman's Black Orchid. That's my favorite character. But um, yeah, I, it was a bit of an education for me with, with the Doctor Strange itself. Check it out. Skype created a Doctor Strange bot that lets you become Doctor Strange's assistant. The interaction takes place just before he begins his training in the mystic arts, and the conversation takes place entirely over IM. Check out how writer-director Scott Derrickson fared in his job interview with Doctor Strange. Tell me, Scott, how would you find a needle in a haystack? I would use a large magnet. <laughs> Impressive. I bet that would work. <laughs> anyway, well, this is Doctor Strange. Anyway, good job. Here's your next question. Tell me, Scott, why do you think manhole covers are round? Uh, to look like the sanctum sanctorum window? That's a great answer. Dr. Strange is typing. And the correct answer is because that way they can't fall through the hole, likely onto some poor dope's head. We have enough damaged <laughs> brains out there. <laughs> this is awesome. Now it's your turn. Do you have what it takes to become Dr. Strange's assistant? Just add Dr. Strange from the available bot list to find out. Be careful which path you travel down, Strange. Stronger men than you have lost their way. So what drew you to being part of Doctor Strange? It was kind of almost like a calling, I think. Uh, Chiwetel is a friend of mine, and then I was asking, what are you up to? He was saying, Doctor Strange. I said, OK. And then I saw this picture, and there's Doctor Strange, and then, you know, creeping out the side was Wong character. And, <laughs> you know, I just thought, hang on, I'm Wong. <laughs> That's fantastic! The Hand of Destiny at work. Is it fun to be the antagonist in a film? Well, the humanity in this character, I believe, is that, that he wants to make this place a better world. Uh, the means of doing it is slightly different than the ones you want to use, but, but at least it does make sense, a lot of the stuff he says. This doesn't make any sense. Not everything does. What drew you to the role of the Ancient One? How could I resist? It was just beyond. And you're playing a, a version of the Ancient One that we've never seen before. Yeah. Because the Ancient One has to be the opposite of Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange is in such a dark place. And I just inverted everything he was doing. You know, he's all bitter and tight and, and, and pumped up with rage. And so I just like... <laughs> floated through Ooh. the whole thing. You're simply a, a very amazing supernatural uh, resume in addition to your wonderful other roles throughout your career. Uh, I love that supernatural resume. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's like a great title for a band, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Doctor Strange is a character who is fiercely loved by a relatively small group of yeah, us. True. So why? Doctor Strange. Well, first of all, I'm part of that relatively small, super loyal group of people. Uh, I think it was picked for the same reason that Stan Lee and Steve Ditko made the comic in the 60s. You know, it was a weird aberration. It was a weird left turn. I mean, but it brought a breath of fresh air to the Marvel comic book universe. So I think that the idea of the movie was, hey, uh, we, need to, we need to evolve or die in this whole comic book world. So how do we bring some originality and some fresh air to it with movies like Guardians of the Galaxy? Uh, Ant-Man is a weird uh, left turn. Doctor Strange is a really hard left turn. <laughs> so I think it's about that. It's about bringing freshness and newness to the, to the MCU. Thank you so much to the folks at Skype for a really extraordinary day talking to the cast and crew of Doctor Strange. Now everybody go check out the movie when it comes to theaters on Friday, November 4th.